So here we have part two. Unfortunately, I don't have memory for part one. Again, we have the DME, the, or also known as the ECM, ECU. And this one here is MSD80. The uh, previous models, I believe, are MSD81. This is a, uh, 2008. So I'm not going to bore you with how to remove the cover. Pretty straightforward. If you don't know how to do that, then you have no business being in here. We have the uh, MOSFET drivers, the MOSFET transistor, which is the drivers for the injector. So what you couldn't see in the other video was that the um, as we uh, plugged in the injector number one, the motor ran somewhat rougher as the computer shut down the drivers for cylinders one, two, and three. That's bank one, cylinders one, two, and three. So we're going to test the drivers, the MOSFETs, which are these six right here, one, two, three, four, five, six. Again, I'm not sure which injectors for which cylinder, but... Um, we're going to test them anyway, and uh, I'm going to put the ohm meter on the 2000 ohm scale. Just uh, you could put it on continuity or or, or um, a lower resistance, but I like using that. It'll give me a better indication. So now we have the ground and the ground pin. So this will show that it's grounded, closed, which it does, zero, zero on the meter. And uh, so you can test up either that pin or the ground. I'm going to test by the back. And here we have on this one here. We have 137, which is good, and the other one should be open. So that's open. So no continuity, that's open. Go on to the next. We have, uh, again, 137. And um, on the other pin, again, that's open, so you know that that one is good. And then we're going to test on this one, and we have here, we have a ground that's, that's a short, that's closed. So that, uh, that we know that this uh, this driver, this MOSFET, is in fact um, defective. It's shorted. It's internally shorted. So this one here will have to be replaced. And we'll do the remaining three. And again, that's 136. That's good. We have there open. We'll do the final two. And that's open. 134. That's good. Open. And 130, 134. So out of the six drivers, um, this one here will need to be replaced. So uh, I'll go ahead and do that. I have to find a driver. I have to order one. Um, that'll be in the next video, probably uh, part three if I, uh, if I decide to make that. And uh, that's it. So uh, thank you for watching. Um, here we are about to change the uh, MOSFET transistor and uh, this is the method that I like to use. Uh, it calls for a hot air gun but I get good results just by using this uh, little handheld blowtorch. I've already desoldered the pins and then and as you can see I'll just move out of the way and the Here we have our new MOSFETs in the anti-static bag. Received them just today. And uh, I will be preparing this for the installation of the new MOSFETs. Okay, so we're going to be installing the new MOSFET. Put a little bit of flux there, there, and there. So, there it goes. Line it up nicely. start by soldering in the pins. Two 
two pins. Just give it a shot, suck it. Okay, no more. I've just cleared the memory. New computer's installed. And let's see what we get. Sounds pretty darn good if you ask me. And no check engine light. Seatbelt light and 4x4 light because the battery is unplugged.